I'm Maki Becker outside the historic Michigan Avenue Baptist Church in downtown Buffalo, and students here from UB are unearthing little bits of history. There's an archaeological dig happening in Buffalo's African American Heritage Corridor. Behind the Michigan Street Baptist Church, students from the University of Buffalo are getting their hands dirty, digging and sifting through Buffalo history. We are looking for the material remains of the people that lived and worked and played in this part of the city of Buffalo, specifically the congregants from the Michigan Street Baptist Church. This is Dr. Doug Pirelli, an anthropology professor at UB. He and his team of students are looking for artifacts related to two historic figures, Peyton Harris, a formerly enslaved man who came to Buffalo and became a prominent businessman, and Mary Talbert, a civil rights and suffragette leader. And it feels great to know that you have evidence of these people existing and living their lives like every day. I don't know, it's more about how people exist every day today rather than monumental things. It's really exciting, I mean, looking at just like any, the amount that's actually underground. Like you wouldn't really, I guess, think by just looking at the ground that there's like little bits of brick and coal. The students were finding all sorts of things Wednesday, like pieces of pottery in China. Then Andrew spotted something really exciting. The first time we actually found a coin, uh, it looks like it's copper. Um, as opposed to being silver or gold because it's uh, tarnished green. Uh, I'm very hesitant to rub this or clean it in any way, but we do have some rainwater over there, uh, and I'm going to rinse this very gently and use a brush on the surface to see if we can discern a date or an image on the coin. The edge looks smooth. All right, I see a shield. They did a little digging on their cell phones, and it looks like it's a copper coin from Ireland from the 1800s. With the harp and the crown. Pretty cool, huh? And if this interests you, you can actually come down yourself. Fridays and Saturdays, weather permitting, you can come down and observe the students as they're working. Now, you can't do the digging and sifting, but you can watch what they're learning, and you can see the artifacts. For more information, come to WKBW.com, see my story. Maki Becker, 7 News, Buffalo.